it came to decide which city to live in Japan, two were the option. One was Tokyo, one was uh, Fukuoka. The Tokyo with 10 million people, I think, was more easy to find some job, even if I speak any Japanese. With Fukuoka, it has uh, one and a half million here in Kyushu Island in the south of Japan. It was a bit more hard to find some opportunity and some basic Japanese is a requirement. When it comes to the city, I think what's more important for you is to understand your value, what you value most and what do you love about the city. In my case, what I value most is communicate with people and you know share ideas about business. What I love in a city is more to have a kind of relaxed time and sometimes also like a more nature and you know have more ability to give you the enjoyment of the city but also give you also a side of relaxing. That's why Fukuoka for me is um, a good city. Uh, the part also they give you, uh, there is a um, company here which they give you free advice and free mentoring how to open a business is absolutely for free. So if you really want, if you are into business, it's a really good city. They call it like a startup city, so it's very famous for entrepreneur. That's great. One more reason why I choose Fukuoka is um, it's the people. People are super friendly. It's kind of easy sometimes to to go and meet someone and talk with someone. There are not so many foreigners, so that's good things. Uh, so you can practice more to speak Japanese, so it's only a must, so you can't speak English for no one. The food is absolutely amazing, it's so good. The ramen here, I love ramen, it's unbelievable, amazing, tasty. The food here is good, it's cheaper. Uh, I pay my rent around $500 per month. It's a good area, it's, uh, it's quite a nice house. And the cool part that Fukuoka has uh, almost everything around you, so you can go to the mountain, go to the beach in 20 30 minutes driving. That's that's awesome, that's really, really nice. This kind of city, really like. Uh, so you can go so many activity around. And what about Tokyo? Well, why didn't go to Tokyo first? It has so many people, it's really you really need to squeeze in the train every time. People rush for appointment for forget the bus, get the train, it's too much rushing, it's too much run and people look a bit sad too. It's very hard to talk with someone because you know people are so busy, you don't have time to talk, you don't have time to enjoy your life sometimes. So one thing sort of like about Tokyo is yes yeah, too busy, one more thing is quite polluted. Sometimes it's hard to see the sky in Tokyo. And uh, one more thing sort of like about Tokyo is that um, there are so many tourists. Really, if you want to travel around Tokyo and you want to go some, see some tourist spot, there are so many. Like I really can't so much enjoy the traveling. It's more like a, it's more like the noise around you, and you know it's hard to take pictures because there are so many people around. And um, even if the tourist now is booming, so again there are more people, and there are so many foreigners. So it's kind of you know slow down to, to learn Japanese because it's for you it's so uncomfortable to speak English with someone else or even your language so and it's expensive Tokyo is very expensive so that's also the reason why I didn't choose Tokyo and there's one more thing in Fukuoka that I really love it's my secret sauce but before we go there I should get some lunch I'm quite hungry so my mother-in-law prepared for me some nice bento box I'm going to join this one for sure and I bring you to the beach. Oh, the lunch was so good. And there we go, we arrived. To the, my favorite place, the beach. <laughs> so yeah, this place reminds me of the good time I spent in Sydney, in Australia. I had a good memory over there. Um, I have really good friends too. So you might need uh, a place in Japan where you can stay for little and just just relax, just thinking, just you know, be in the state of mind that you might be alone here in Japan and it's so hard, it's not simple at all in the beginning, language, culture, friends, no friends, it's hard, it's very hard
So you might need this kind of place where you really like to be for even for five minutes because this kind of place is going to save your day, really. So I don't say Fukuoka is the best city to live in Japan. I just say choose carefully which city you want to live. Match your value with the city and if you'd like to know more about Fukuoka, just send me some comments. I'm really happy to give some answers. And if you want to move in a countryside, here there is the video about the countryside. So, thank you. I'll see you soon.